Um, on the, uh, so if we could just move to item 15, the triennial agreement between local authorities in the Canterbury region. Um, I'd like to uh, move that. Item 15, approve the draft Canterbury local authorities triennial agreement um, and pr approve the Mayor signing the triennial agreement on behalf of the Council. So I'll move that. Seconded by Sarah Templeton. Any discussion? Question, Yani. Yeah, I just wanted like, um, I'm surprised we haven't workshopped this. Is, is there any chance for us to actually look at how we work with our neighbouring authorities and what we might want to put in? Like things like public transport, um, you no, know, regional funding, the, the, et cetera? The public transport issues being dealt with as part of the um, joint committee um, under the sort of kind of generic um, I know it's a regional um, approach. The trouble is, is that it's a regional approach, but the impact is Greater Christchurch. We've got the Greater Christchurch Partnership and we've got the Joint Committee. We've actually made the membership the same people for a reason, which is to see if we can get a much more joined up collaborative approach across uh, the two districts. The, Regional Council, NZTA, who sit at the table for both of them. So, um, so, so we're going to be working on that. That isn't really a function for the, for the triennial agreement between local authorities. It's more around no surprises. Um, we did make a change to the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, oh, sorry, I'll just pull it up. But we made a change to the uh, reference to the Canterbury Regional Economic Development Strategy and said that we would be developing a new strategy which is based on sustainability. And that's really picking up the need for the region to be thinking about uh, some of those bigger issues. Right. Um, so will that come back to us before work begins on that? Sorry? Will that come back to us before work begins on that sustainable development strategy? It's not a sustainable development strategy, Yanni. What, what I'm trying to say to you is that there is a Canterbury Regional Economic Development Strategy in existence now. Um, and it is based on a, um, a, a collaborative working relationship between the region, the region's um, districts and the city and the regional council. So um, I'm just looking at 15.2, which says develop and lead implementation of a sustainable development strategy. Yes, that's so right. So I'm just trying to understand what But that it's not in is. a capital letters. It's not the sustainable development strategy. It's a okay. sustainable development strategy for the Canterbury region for local government triennium 2020-2022. Uh, and that is because we have had a Canterbury regional economic development strategy and rather sticking with the economic development framework, we've actually indicated quite a, a strong um, shift in emphasis into sustainable development. Um, and so that will be um, a, available for discussion well, and great. So um, we'll get to consideration. Yeah, that would be great. Um, the second question was just whether or not um, the mayoral forum is open for people to observe or open to the public. As a public meeting, it's actually no, it's, it's really not a good, public but meeting. But all of the um, all of the uh, information about what is discussed at the meeting um, that's all put on the website. So it is it's not one of the public meetings. You know, the, um, there's the joint committee on public transport, the Greater Christchurch Partnership. They're all public meetings. Um, haven't seen many councillors turn up to them. So other than those that sit on them, but you're all welcome. Um, and all of the agendas are put on the hub. You can all look at them, you can read them, you can come along and observe. You can come along and make representations to them because that's what they're we, available we, we for. We can't to the mural forum, as I but understand But not it. the mural yeah. forum. The mural forum is a statutory um, requirement uh, to bring together all of the, um, the mayors. They meet four times a year and they put on the website all of the information uh, that it has developed the Canterbury Water Man Management Strategy, um, the establishment of the zone committees. That's why the zone committees 
um, report to both the council and the regional council. So it, 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 that is the nature of the body. But no, it's not a public meeting, but it's it certainly publishes. It's a very outward facing um, group, but it is a it doesn't have decision making powers, as you know. All of the decision making powers come back to the individual members. Anything else? I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank you.